Dennis, your humble servant, of course. I bring with me today a pleasant duty. We've received several letters here from some of our men that were captured in Charlestown. So I have four, it appears, I have four here. And if you recognize one of the names, they've been addressed in the city, so if you recognize one of the names, come forward and claim it. The first one here is William Rose. You're William Rose. There you are. Certainly. The second one is Henry Smith. You're Henry Smith. Henry Smith. Very well. I have some men going out to, to his wife, so I can take the, the letter there. Oh, very good. <laughs> Third one here is Jonathan Dunn. Jonathan Dunn? No? Perhaps we'll find him someplace else. The last one that I have here is for an Alexander Hoy. Alexander Hoy? Hoy. Hoy. Please do that to my husband. Here you are. Oh. This one is Charlestown, 27 August, 1781. My dearest wife, Barbara, words do not express the joy I take to inform you and my regiment has been released from captivity in Charlestown. By the grace of God, I am in tolerable good health as we commence our homeward march. Captain Lewis shall march my company home to Williamsburg, where we are to be discharged. I pray that we may have no other troubles than what are common on such a journey, so as once to be again in the arms of my family. Until then, kiss my darling girl, our darling girl for me. I am and ever shall be your loving husband, Alexander. Thank you, sister. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's go up to the tavern. Do you, do you know oh. where your girls are? Yes. Then that the first guy is still there. I think the news out to your girls. And then whatever happens to you, Friends, certainly the road to our independence has been a long one. But I hope the moments such as these remind you that, in fact, we have not lost our hope. And we have not lost our faith. Friends, here shortly, General Washington is to give the command to march some 21,000 troops 12 miles to the town of York, where we will invest the British. We will invest Lord Cornwallis. And hopefully, by the grace of God, we will, in fact, have the greatest victory of this war even to this day. But for now, friends, General Lafayette wishes to speak to the troops at the courthouse, so we will move all together, and if you should wish to join us, we will take ourselves there now. Drum Major, on your call.